Welcome to the Boat Buyer Secret Weapon video series. I am your host, Captain Matt. And today we're talking inboard, outboard engines, stern drives, mer cruisers specifically, and the difference between the Alpha and the Bravo. So let's jump in. If you've been looking, there's the Alpha 1, the Bravo 1, the Bravo 2, the Bravo 3, and the Bravo 4. As you look, the Alpha 1 and the Bravo 3 are the most common. The Bravo 1, that's for super high horsepower, uh, fast boats, over 100 miles an hour um, boats. So those are, um, are, I'm sorry, up to 100 miles an hour. So those are the go fast boats. The Bravo 2, those are for big heavy boats like big cruisers and houseboats. So let's talk specifically about the Alpha 1 and the Bravo 3, because that's the main choice you're going to be making. If you're looking at the forward-facing drive and the surf, that's a whole nother conversation. So let's look specifically at the Alpha 1 and the Bravo 3, by far the most common in the pleasure boat segment that, um, that you're probably interested in. The first thing is obvious, is the Alpha 1, which is on the left right here, as you can see that, and the Bravo 3 on the right is the Bravo 3 has counter-rotating props on it. It's got two counter-rotating props that give you more surface area, more thrust. And it also, you can see, it's bigger. It's heavier duty. It's more durable. Inside, the gears are heavier. Everything is more stout in the Bravo 3. So here's the main difference that you need to be aware of. The Alpha been around forever. It's a, a rock solid proven platform, but the limitation is you don't want to push too much weight with it. So as you get to bigger boats, 21, 22, maybe 23, uh, depending on the weight, you're probably going to jump from the alpha to the Bravo. Now that Bravo, they work differently. The mechanics on the inside are different. Uh, the Alpha is going to clunk a little bit more when it goes into gear. The Bravo 3 is going to go into gear a little bit smoother because of the cone clutch versus the dog clutch. But the reality is what you need to think about, they're both rock solid platforms. It's not a matter of, oh, this one's better than that. It's about application and the heavier and the bigger the boat is, is where you want to switch over to that Bravo. The Bravo, in my opinion, is if you're on the cusp of, hey, you're looking to order a boat and you're on the cusp, they offer the Alpha and the Bravo on a new boat. And I would go lean towards the Bravo because it is more durable. It's more heavy duty. Um, it's going to, I think you're going to have a better experience um, and better performance with that counter rotating prop. It tracks straighter because instead of having the prop force kind of crab you over at, at slow water maneuvers, it's going to be more true with that counter rotating prop. Now, the same goes for the Volvo, the single versus the counter rotating, in my opinion. Uh, but that's the difference. And it really comes down to the weight. So if you're looking at a boat that, like I said, that 21, 22, maybe 23 foot, the heavier the boat, the more I'm going to lean towards the Bravo three drive. Um, and, um, that's really what you, that's what you need to think about as you're looking at it. So if you got questions, drop them in the comments down below. I can dive deeper in another, another video. Um, check out the 200 plus videos on the channel. Subscribe if you enjoy this. And if you're in the market to buy, um, check out the Boat Buyers Toolkit, boatbuyersecretweapon.com slash toolkit. It's totally free, super valuable. We throw in some bonus videos. And remember, life truly is better on